Last year's winner of the Fred Award for Best New Zealand Show, the youngest ever winner of the Billy T, and you'll know him as a regular on Seven Days and on the project at the moment. He's taking things seriously, though, in his new show, which is hard to believe. So what's it all about? The show is Reese Classic. Please welcome to the cafe, Reese Matthewson. Thank you. Hi, Reese. Oh. oh, thank you for having me. I'm very well. How are you, Mike? You're good. Hey, you enjoy the project? Oh, loving it. Yes. Oh, it's so stressful. Okay. <laughs> well, like on the project, time is out. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us about your new show. You, you're being all serious. What's that about? Oh, well, I mean, that's the thing. When you've got an hour, to, you kind of want to explore some things and hopefully make some sort of point rather than just leaving people with laughs. You want to leave them with something a little bit extra. And rather than, you know, nudity or anything like that, I figured I'd try and make a, a salient point. Oh, nice. And you getting... turned 30. Was this, is that right? God, God no, I'm 26. <laughs> oh, someone told me you turned oh, 30. Oh. That is wonderful for my self-esteem. I'm I so sorry about that. I thought that's why you got serious. Well. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> and how is being 50? Hold yes. <laughs> well, the drugs are working. <laughs> um, so You're out. So you're getting all philosophical in your young 26. Is that what the show's about? Yeah, yeah. a bit. It's kind of figuring out um, uh, how, how comedy particularly kind of affects everything else. Because it's the one thing I really believe in and try to figure out beliefs from there. So you started at a very young age. I mean, you were pretty much king of the circuit at age 15, 16, weren't yeah. you? How has comedy for you changed then? Is it still the same, you know, in terms of how you approach it? Um, a little bit. I think the main change is that I used to talk about myself and stories from my life because I had nothing else really to talk about. Whereas now, I've lived a little bit, I've got opinions on things, so it's kind of telling people what I reckon rather than just, here's a funny thing that happened to me the other day. And also, you used to do tap dancing and wear a, a, a unitard. Do you <laughs> yes, still do I did. that? Um, no, not this year. That's the seriousness. Well, I, I, pull, I tore my hamstring in a pink lycra halter oh, neck wow. jumpsuit in a show once, wow. and then I went... There's such a thing as, as, as putting too much effort in, so <laughs> no more of that. Let's just stand there and talk. Let's so no tap dancing now for us? Oh, oh all right, I'll jump up on here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. I know, we need to find that clip, don't we? OK, um, you know, what? when you, you know, we, with the show, once it's finished, what happens next? Because you are very busy at the moment. Uh, what have you got after this show? Then it's back to working on the project. I work behind the scenes as well as on the camera all the time. Uh, and then gigging around the country. So rather than, you take the stuff that you use in each year's festival show and you kind of chop it up into bits and you go around making people laugh with it. And I heard you're a bit tired at the moment because you've been like seeing gig after gig in the festival. Comedy Festival is kind of like our end of year Christmas party, oh, except yeah, nice. it lasts three weeks long. So you're going out seeing three shows a night and then having drinks afterwards. And since I'm on the projects, the first time I've had a proper job in my entire <laughs> Life. So having to wake up in the morning going, I have not had enough sleep. So I've been having a lot of vitamin C shots. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you. Well, thanks, Reese, And we'll leave it there, just like on the project. OK, for more <laughs> details on Reese Classic at The Classic, head along to the website comedyfestival.co.nz.